So guys, I know a lot of us have been holding out getting a new vehicle with the anticipation that a bulk of new upgrades are just around the corner and this might be the news we've all been waiting for. Tesla's next generation suite of sensors is going to pack major improvements and it's almost here. Mid last year, during the annual shareholders meeting, Elon confirmed that the design for Tesla's next generation full self-driving computer was complete. Not only is the design getting an upgrade, but it's also getting a new name. Instead of Hardware 5, it's now being referred to as AI Artificial Intelligence Computer. That said, according to Elon, the current Hardware 4 still has a lot of untapped potential with model training ramping up at Giga Texas Data Center. But despite the confidence in the current set of hardware, it's hard to tell whether it's really possible to achieve unsupervised full self-driving or hitting the ceiling is inevitable. In a recent finding by well-known Tesla hacker Green the Only, it appears that the latest version of Tesla's full self-driving software version 13 has been heavily optimized and compressed for hardware 4, and this update is now pushing the chip close to its maximum performance capabilities. One major change is the size of the neural networks, the system that allows the cars to think and make decisions. On hardware 4, Node B, one of the processing units, has grown to 7.5 gigabytes out of 8, while Node A has also doubled in size. Another change is that Tesla is now using encrypted end-to-end -end component on hardware 4. This makes the system more efficient by cutting down on redundant neural networks and improving how information is processed. With this build, Tesla has also shifted away from a single general purpose model for all driving scenarios. Instead, they are now using specialized sub-networks tailored for different environments like factory lots, highways, and city streets, allowing the system to adapt more precisely to each situation. With that being said, the biggest challenge really is the memory ceiling. With the latest FSD update, each node now uses 7.5 gigabytes out of the available 8, leaving very little headroom for future expansion. This means that hardware 4 is quickly approaching its maximum capacity. And given this high memory usage in the recent build, even without factoring in the 3x context size is coming in the latest update with V14, it's highly likely that the upcoming software is already being trained and optimized for the next generation hardware 5. So yeah, gathering all the info we know from prior months up to today, we can come to the conclusion that hardware 4 is on its way out and it's going to come to the eventual fate as older hardware. It doesn't really matter if it's going to be capable of robo taxi or it's going to come out as unsupervised vehicles in the latter months. What we do know is that it did hit its limitation and what they're going to have to do to resolve this is either upgrade the car, upgrade the board, or they're going to further optimize it, further compress it, and this is going to sacrifice the image, the video feed, and a lot of things that makes FSD safe. Now a good example here and exaggerated just a little bit is that instead of seeing a street sign in crystal clear quality from a quarter mile away, it's now only able to see it from within a few feet. This is going to reduce the quality of full self-driving unsupervised and this is where they will have to increase the resolution and increase the processing power and that is exactly what we're going to see with Hardware 5. Now moving forward a few months with the introduction of the CyberCab, Tesla gave us an early glimpse at the kind of hardware that will power its upcoming RoboTaxi network. While the exact internal components weren't disclosed, it's likely running an early version of the next generation chip along with the now standard front bumper camera that's appearing on every new vehicle. Around that same time, Elon confirmed that Hardware 5 is in its final stages of development with mass production expected to begin as early as 2026. According to news publication China Times, Tesla is partnering with TSMC to produce a next generation CPU for its FSD computer. These enhanced 3 nanometer chips built on the N3P manufacturing process would deliver significantly higher performance, greater transistor density, and a lower power consumption. Then now, just over this week, further information have surfaced regarding Tesla's upcoming suite of sensors. Korean news outlet MK has provided what appears to be credible source and a look at Tesla's next hardware iteration known as AI5 and what it might deliver. According to the report, Tesla is preparing to produce its new AI5 computer with a performance target in the range of 2,000 to 2,500 tops or trillion operations per second. This is a massive leap up over the current hardware 4 which maxes out at roughly 300 tops, nearly 5 times the performance of its predecessor while being much more efficient. 
The report also mentions that Tesla is considering both Samsung and TSMC as potential manufacturing partners for its next generation hardware. In addition, Tesla plans to upgrade the FSD camera suite now featuring Samsung's hybrid waterproof lens, which includes a built-in heating element capable of melting ice and snow within just a minute. This is also added to the computer's ability to now reliably work in extreme temperature ranging from negative 40 to plus 150 degrees Celsius. So this is definitely a massive leap up from what we have with hardware 4. And even though that we have 300 tops, trillion operation per second sounds extremely large. There is the limitation of the memory, which again tops out at 8 gigabytes per node or 16 gigabytes total. And this is where the constraint sits. And the only way to really resolve this is by adding additional memory, additional RAM into this board, which is really not possible without upgrading the entire thing. Then of course, while they're in the progress of increasing the memory limits on this board, they might as well throw in a much faster chip going from 300 tops to 2,500 tops. This is what's necessary to see all the obstacle, everything around it, everything you can as a human process with a single glance of a scene and processed with your brain, it needs to be able to do that as well. So that means seeing every speck of sand on the ground or dirt, bug, grass, trees, all those things that are not depicted on the visualization right now or probably not even processed on the computer really needs to take account for because there are a lot of scenarios that hardware 4 at 300 tops probably is unable to do. Then as for the cameras themselves, of course, we're going to be seeing so much more upgrades this time around. It's not just going to be a bump in resolution, although there could be that as well. We might be going way higher than what we have on a hardware 4. And then on top of that, we are going to be getting Samsung's hybrid lens technology, which I did talk about in a previous video. If you want to know more about that and all the biggest upgrades to come up with this new camera, go check it out. I will drop a link in the description below and up top there. There is a ton to crack down on this chip and I can't wait for it to officially roll out on prototype vehicles. That is when we can really, really start diving in. But until then, I will continue to keep my eyes peeled out for anything that comes out. So I would love it if you stick around. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and that bell notification if you haven't already done so. And to follow me on X at HeyJohnE. Over there, you will see things you wouldn't see here, especially now that RoboTaxi is just days away. Anyways, this should be it for this one. I hope you enjoyed it. This is John once again. Peace out.